Greetings, Stable 2007 evaluators and fans. My name is Andrew Brankley, and welcome to this video on the 2017 revision of the Stable 2007 Evaluator Workbook, what you as evaluators need to know in five minutes. This video is kind of like a movie trailer, spoiling all the best jokes and key plot points before you saw the movie. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. This video will introduce 16 key points relevant to three important questions. Why do we need a revised workbook? What resources are available? And what do you need to know? The white rabbit here will keep us on track by enumerating the 16 points as they come up in this video. So let's start off with why. As it became apparent that a client's risk level was as highly dependent upon the tool you use as much as the risk relevant propensities, representatives from the Canadian and US justice systems developed a common language for communicating risk. This language is built upon multiple indicators of risk and can be applied to any risk tool that uses these indicators. If you want to learn more about the standardized risk levels, please see the links below. In brief, the five risk levels range from level one, who we expect to essentially desist from sexual crime when they return to the community, to level five, for which there is a greater than 85% chance of sexual recidivism after five years in the community. However, we don't often speak of level five in terms of sexual risk because most tools cannot reliably discriminate between levels 4B and five, across that 85% threshold. As the interpretation of STAG 99R and STAG 2002R were brought into the standardized risk level framework, a gap for stable 2007 users emerged. This and several other available improvements led to the 2017 revision to the workbook. What resources are available to learn about the workbook? Well, you have the workbook, the full and five minute versions of this video, and the companion slide deck, all of these free for you to use. So finally, what do you as stable users need to know about the new workbook? Well, we have a larger normative sample. We added almost an entire cohort of adult males convicted of sexual offenses in British Columbia and supervised in the community from 2005 to 2013. This is an ethnically diverse sample and the new and old samples have comparable score distributions. We updated the item frequency data and if you check out the full video, we used colorful slides to describe the frequencies. Ah. We also updated total score data. We have also updated the percentile information and recommended the use of percentile rank as defined by midpoint average in reports. The full video also gives you a breakdown of how percentiles are calculated. The biggest change is to the static stable combination rules. The method for combining the two scales is based upon using stable to adjust a static risk level up or down based upon how unusual the stable score is. We do this by figuring out what the expected stable scores are and then figuring out what stable scores are unexpected or very unexpected. The final table is available in your workbooks. These standardized risk levels are associated with risk ratios and absolute recidivism rates. We have revitalized the Risk Matrix 2000 table, but the rules have not changed yet. We have also created detailed report writing templates and a guide to help you select which templates are best for you. These 16 points are the, ah. shh, quiet you guys, I'm almost done. <laughs> These 16 points are the key changes in the 2017 revision of the Stable 2007 Evaluator Workbook. If you would like to learn more about the changes, please see the full video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos on Stable 2007, Risk Assessment and Sexual Crime. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and if you have any questions, please feel free to email me.